Shrine of the God Ape was one of those games that got pushed due to the summer sale and is an action platformer where you play as what looks like a pirate skeleton. This is a smaller game, so don't expect Metroidvania style progression or world design, but I like the look of this. Break the game is a meta platformer where you play as the blue block named Kevin. It breaks the fourth wall, and there are some unnerving, almost horror game style elements in this. It cites inspiration from Thomas Was Alone. Lisa, Undertale and The Stanley Parable, so this should be interesting. In the year 476, the invasion of Rome by the Germanic tribes is inevitable. The Western Roman Empire is in decline. The Patrician fled, and for a brief moment, silence reigns in the atrium. This room where they used to gather and feast was specially designed to play a strategic game. A game inspired by the construction of Theodosian walls, featuring cities similar to later European castles. Atrium is an original digital board game that requires you to place towers on the board Carcassonne style, build the largest empire, longest road, and evolve your worker units into different classes. It's at this moment before the sack of Rome and in this symbolic place that the period of the Middle Ages begins. Everyone to the nearest stations. We have an emergency. We're losing people one after the other. We need help. It was already too late when they called us. The rescue team was ready for anything. But then, that bright light. Before I could open my eyes, the survival adventure game Distrust launches on Switch, in which you play as one member of a group of explorers who are stranded at an Arctic research station after a helicopter crash. On top of scavenging for resources and staving off hunger and the cold, there are mysterious elements in play which could be aliens or even creatures from the depths, undoubtedly influenced by the thing. Defend the Keep is a tower defense game that uses hexagons which is an interesting choice and seems more focused on the central tower in the middle of your tower. I'm not going to call it pity, but watching him limp across the system, something in me wanted him to make it. Lost Orbit, Terminal Velocity, is quite a pretty, cell-shaded avoid -em up which is kind of like an endless runner, so let's see how the game makes dodging fun.
told myself it was only a matter of time before he'd be dead and I'd be on my way. <sighs> if only it were that simple. Dash Amigos launches on Xbox One and is a local multiplayer racing game on foot, so Mario Kart without the cards. It looks like wacky fun with interesting character designs and fun powers and weapons. Nightmare Reaper is a retro first-person shooter which really ramps up the speed and gore. Gunplay looks awesome. Robo Instructors is a programming puzzle game in which you must program the robot in order to complete the puzzle. I'm quite bad at these types of game, but may just give it another shot. Soul Fire is a 3v3 2D side scrolling action game with souls like combat, but somehow it is a battle royale. Pitting 20 teams of 3 against each other, at the very least, it will be an interesting study on the proliferation of the battle royale genre. The muted grayscale color scheme of Gris Land hides a mini Metroidvania which could end up being a hidden gem.
uses 128 by 96 resolution with only 5 colors, but has open world exploration in a non-linear fashion, secret areas, passive abilities, upgrades, and dinosaurs. For more upcoming indie game new releases, check out the previous video or click on the recommended playlist and I will see you after the jump.